hey, does your room ever feel like this where you're just in a pit and you're sinking and it feels like there's no way out? Look, man, mental health can really freaking suck, you know? But honestly, it's never too late to receive help. And so that's why I'm really proud of the client we have today who reached out to me and my team to go take care of him and get his home back to a safe, sanitary condition again. It's a really intimidating and scary first step, but once you get through it and you have a clean home again, you'll never regret it. Oftentimes, our environment is a pure reflection of what's going on inside our mind. So that's why just having that fresh start in our home is a great catalyst to getting your mental health back on track. Luckily, the client we're working with today is very okay with letting go of a lot of his belongings. So that's not the case every single time. This client really did his homework, so we're ready to get moving on this. Obviously, there are still a good amount of valuable items buried around here. So we take our time sorting and we set them aside later so we can bring them to the client. Now that we got a good chunk of the top layer hoard out, we have a lot of sweeping to do. Now, I just found this out today, but there's a bucket with like a broom-shaped head on the top. So you can put the bucket down and basically sweep up all the trash straight into it. It's genius. After we got the majority of the sweeping done, we went ahead and started cleaning. So we got the surfaces and walls wiped down as well as the floor. And we were able to get this room from this back to something like this, something that's a bit more safe and sanitary for the client to live in and be much happier. But we still got this gnarly bathroom to take care of. That'll be next.